Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Ivan, welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Now, yes, as you, as you read in the beginning of the video, my microphone audio was not working in this video. And for some reason, my OBS decided to act a little weird and it chose a default um, output device instead of my usual microphone. So I did that right after I did the video. And when I looked at the video at the start, I was like, oh my god, there's no microphone audio in this video. My OBS was really, really acting up. So, yeah, I'm going to do, be doing a voiceover commentary for, like, the rest of the video. But I'll make it pretty short and sweet of getting all the moons and everything. So, yeah. I was saying in this scene that I got all the regional coins. And, yep, I'm, I am using dual choy cons. It's new for me. So, it gives me more motion controls and makes it easier for me to play. But then again, it's new for me. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I was I was gonna say I collected all the regional coins here in the Metro Kingdom and I was gonna buy all the merchandise or the not merchandise the souvenirs here and you can see the golf outfit that 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 now that's the NES tournament golf outfit for Mario because he was wearing that in the NES tournament game for golf if you guys do remember that game as well I played it on the switch and it was pretty pretty good so yeah you'll see Mario wearing that outfit in that game so that's what it kind of reminds me of there but what I was saying is we're going to head into the Snow Kingdom in this episode and we're going to find all the moons there. And, well, some of the moons, but not all the moons. So, yeah, this is going to be weird doing a voiceover commentary because my microphone audio was not working at the time. So, yeah, I'll just cut to this part when it gets to the Moon Kingdom. Or not Moon Kingdom, Snow Kingdom. Alright, here we are arriving in the Snow Kingdom. And, yeah, it's going to feel very weird for me narr narrating my whole freaking adventure here 18 minutes of it too well we already got like well, i have to do like 17 minutes of commentary here but i went back into the odyssey for a reason is to check out my new donk city merchandise is the gold pauline statue you see right there right next to the moon rock which is right next to the wardrobe as well so yeah um and there's the dog right there the dog is like the cutest part right there <laughs> but yeah well you gotta get to discovering power moons here and this whole area this was not here before like when you first arrive in the snow kingdom in the story of the game it's like in a huge blizzard but after you complete it and it pretty much returns to its normal state with a few enemies and look at luigi luigi is shivering in the cold luigi's gonna get hypothermia most likely but i did see this rabbit over here and every time you see a rabbit you know there's gonna be a moon here and pretty much every kingdom has a rabbit that you have to catch to get a moon so yeah i caught him pretty easily there so it only took me like what like a minute to get him but like i said this is gonna be so weird just commenting my whole adventure because my mic was not working and obs didn't want to work for me well obs worked but this just, just used a default audio device that i never really used before and right here i used lucky to to fish out a uh, giant fish here that had to be a uh and it took me a while to get the giant fish there. Of course, fishing in a freaking, um, in a snowy biome or an Antarctic type of, um, environment, it's not really, like, it's not really safe. You probably, well, I know people do fish in the snow and whatnot. It, 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 yeah, people do do that sometimes. But I just feel like, oh my god, I wouldn't be out there in the cold just looking for fish, you know? But it was a big fish that I caught. And this was the first time I challenged, by the way, so... I think there's another one right after this one, but right here I'm just trying to get, um, find some more moon shards in, the, in this kingdom, and there was some purple cheap cheap that I've never even seen before, this is probably a new cheap cheap, or it probably, like, it's probably the same as a normal cheap cheap, or uh, I don't even know anymore, but yeah, I'm basically using the cheap cheap to find most of the shards here in the kingdom, and I know some shards here will be underwater somehow, and this is the second time in challenge right here. And this is where I really um, use the motion controls for my Joy-Con right here. I use the shaking to climb faster. And this one only took me the second try, so yeah. There's the second time the challenge right there done. And yeah, I'm just getting to the part where I just grab the moon and everything, so... Got a few more minutes left. I don't know how long my freaking um, voice can go on for this, because I've been talking for like 33 minutes in this video. Well, yeah, it's edited right now. It's only 18 minutes. I do edit these videos, so yeah. There's the, there's the fifth moon right there. And um, my, I feel like I already need a drink of water. So, yeah, I did find this um, this seed, and it grew a beanstalk all the way up to the sky and everything. So yeah, and I was talking about how useful the motion is. Um, for climbing and other sorts of 
mobilization stuff. And this area, wow, this is another one of these areas where you get a bunch of coins from. Now, I might be in this area, like, off-camera just to farm some coins so I can get, like, the most expensive outfits in the game. Now, I know there's, like, a lot of other um, secret areas that offer a lot of coins, like the one in the, the Woody Kingdom. I basically farmed there off-camera for coins. And it's actually pretty useful. And there was a there was a lot of coin rings in this level, dude. A lot of them, to be exact. I don't know if I like this better than the Woody Kingdom one. I think they both kind of look the same, you know, in terms of getting coins. But I did hear the best method to get, like, max coins within at least an hour. From zero to max coins within an hour is in the Bowser Kingdom. So yeah, I might have to... Whenever I get there, I might have to grind to get all the points there. And there's a secret moon to my left right here, and I need to get a little bit of leverage to get that one. But yeah, like like I said, grinding to max points can be pretty, um, it can be, uh, take some time, but the one in the Bowser Kingdom can take an hour or less to get max. It's this one secret area in the sky where you have to use the rocket flowers, you don't have, don't touch your, um, joysticks. So you can, I'm going a straight line, and yet look how much money this is, man. Like, that has to be so much, man. And the moon is basically right under these, um, these point rings right here. Yeah, there's the, uh, what is that, the seventh moon of the kingdom? So yeah. And there was another secret area that was right under the Odyssey right here. Now this area, I did not like at all. It's because mostly there's cold water here, and you had to swim in cold water in the majority of the time. And that causes, like, serious hypothermia. And uh, they actually kind of do acknowledge it in this game, where you free, like, you can freeze to death. So, yeah, that can be pretty, pretty dangerous. So, yeah, there's a lot of movies here, too. I don't know why they're here, but... Um, I think in this part, you're supposed to take damage right here. This part right here, this is where you're supposed to take damage, and this is where they supply you with the heart. Yeah, so you... Yeah, it gives you enough time to uh, help right there. So yeah, it, it provides a heart, because I think you're supposed to take damage on that part. But in case you do find the secret moon and the normal moon in this level, then you regain health like that as well. And yeah, look at these, like, shifting water pumps. I really did not like this secret area at all. It's probably one of my least favorites, because... Ugh. Didn't want had to didn't want to had to put Mario through all that cold water because that must be very very like uncomfortable and uh, very freezing too. I don't know what's even worse, freezing to death or burning to death. I know I I don't know which one I choose. Burning to death sounds they both sound pretty cool, but you know I don't even want to answer that question right now. Sounds like sounds like some people could, but some people couldn't. You know, I don't think I'm the type of person to answer that type of question. You know, if I rather freeze or burn to death. So yeah, there's the eighth moon right there. That's the secret moon in this level. And this is the other part where you have where you have to take damage. But thank God the moon is right down there where you're choosing, and it's basically right there to resupply you. Uh, now I kind of wonder myself, like, how far is the other platform to the, this one? Maybe I can make it without using the board. You see. I, I don't think it's possible. I haven't tried it out yet. But this secret area right here, this one has the uh, the Koopa Trace Walk. Now this one was very challenging because you were on ice. And you needed 80 points to do this one. Now, if I did open up the Moon Rock, I bet you there would be like a master challenge for this for this, um, this Koopa Trace Walking. So yeah, basically my strategy here is, you know, just round pound so you can stand still, so you won't, like, slip off or anything like that. So yeah, use the ground pound to your ability, and yeah, it looks really, really sloppy. You're basically making a, a triangle right here. So yeah, 84 points I scored right there. It wasn't that bad, but I bet you the next one is going to be like 90 or something when I open up the moon rock there. So yeah, that can be pretty, pretty challenging. And you know who was hiding under these snows right here? Captain Toad. Yeah. Yeah, I was hiding under the thing. What do you expect? Well, I don't even know, but he was just, sh like, buried in the freaking snow for some odd reason. Maybe he was just finding some shelter in the during the blizzard? I don't know. Yeah, I was finding shelter in the freaking blizzard. I was freaking cold in there. Well, anyways, most likely, um... Yeah, this is the musical note right here. I thought this was over. This was kind of challenging because you had to go up a steep hill. And you had to go down, and you had to go up again. Like, yeah, I thought this one was a challenge. I thought it was easy, but I forgot, yeah, they keep spawning more notes after you complete, like, the first set of the notes right there. So, yeah. So 
that one was pretty easy. Not very hard at all. Like I said, like, using the, the, the notes with two players can be pretty, pretty easy. Since, like, the other player can use Cappy and just get all the musical notes like that, so... Yeah, I think two players with musical notes can be pretty, pretty simple. Now, this is another secret area right here, buried behind more snow. So... This one, I forgot what this one is. Yes, this one, you you basically use the rocket flower to basically walk on water. You're basically like God at this point. You're just walking on very freezing cold water. Now, I remember I did die the first time here. I think I fell off the ledge when I missed the rocket flower. Yeah, I think it was right here that I missed it. Yep, there's my death right there. But you know, with editing, I skipped it right there. I, I skipped most of my um, tragic and humiliating deaths. Yeah, you have to use more rocket flowers to get up this steep, steep hill up here. And the foot don't do not get the moon right there. Keep going, keep going up there. Yep, there's obstacles in your way, but that's totally fine. Just skip right past that moon, and you'll get the secret moon right up there. So yeah, there's that secret moon. And you can come back down and retrieve this moon right down here. Just to retrieve the regular moon, because if you do retrieve the regular moon, it basically removes the rocket flower. So don't ever do that. Or else you have to come back and ever try it again. Now, I'm using the cloud guy here. I don't know if their names. I do not check the capture list. But I captured the cloud guy here because there was like a little obstacle. Where uh, a little staircase he could blow. So yeah, I uh, this is where I use most of my motion controls here. Because shaking with the motion controls will actually make the cloud blow a lot harder. So yeah. Using yeah, it blows a lot harder when you shake the, the Joy-Cons or the Pro Controller, whatever you play Super Mario Odyssey with. But yeah, it was it was that simple. And basically what's on top of this place right here is a painting to the Cascade Kingdom. And this was the, the secret one that I was trying to find. This is the secret moon for the Cascade Kingdom I was trying to find earlier. So yeah, it, it was literally a floating island. Most of these are like floating islands or it could be islands like very far from the kingdom themselves. And make sure you always grab the checkpoint there, because, you know, that's always important. See so, yeah, there's the secret moon in the Cascade Kingdom. And here we have the Koopa right here for the, uh, the Koopa free-running, um, race. Now, I can only imagine what the Master Challenge is gonna be like. And I was kind of, like, I was kind of frustrated, because you had to race in a blizzard. Now, that, 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 that could be a real challenge. Like, yeah, yeah, this is what I was talking about here. When you first arrive to the Snow Kingdom, when you first play the game, it's going to be in a blizzard, and you're going to have a hard time seeing things. So, yeah, that could be pretty tricky right there. And, yeah, there was those cloud guys. I don't know what they were doing in this race, but probably to, like, interfere or whatnot. But I found this little secret path here that you can take off this, um, this pole, blow up some wind, and it takes you straight to the to the goal right there. Now, I wonder if the Goku, the Golden Koopa and the Master Challenge would do that as well. So, I guess we'll have to find out in that next video. But every time I say that, I don't, I'm not going to end the video right here. There's still a lot more moons to collect. Oh boy, this is going to be a long adventure. <laughs> I think that's the 16th moon right there. Now, right here, I did head down to Shiveria Town. And I looked at some art right here. And that was art in the Lost Kingdom. So, I might have to go back to the Lost Kingdom in the next episode to retrieve that secret moon for the uh, Snow Kingdom. Now, I think one of these guys you can talk to, and one of these guys said you have to be in your underwear in order to retrieve a moon, because, you know, it's kind of like their uniform policy for racing. Well, it's not like, like their uniform policy. They know it's cold, but you can wear a, a snow hoodie, but, it, like, for the races, you have to be in, like, undies, like boxer shorts and everything. And thank god I did buy the boxer shorts, and I haven't used them in a while, but I'm just experimenting with other outfits in this game currently at the moment. But, yeah, the boxer shorts Mario looks really, really hilarious, and I bet a lot of people would buy that thing first thing to get a thousand points and just buy that. So yeah, you basically talk to him, and he just says you're a beast and everything, and you're very, very courageous. And he's gonna give you the moon right here. What a nice guy. <laughs> I love these Shiverians, man. They're pretty, pretty wholesome. Now, right here, I did change into my snow outfit here. Mainly because the secret area I went into in the earlier episodes had a secret moon and I didn't even know about it. See, even Cappy is going to acknowledge it right here. Yeah, he said there's at least one power moon here. You always gotta check in these secret areas because there's always two moons. There's one, there's the regular, and there's the, always the secret one. So, yeah. Getting over these spinies was, uh, 
was, wasn't that hard for me, but I did kind of fail. I kind of jumped a little bit too late. But you know what? It's fine. Um, the secret area is right above this last moon shard up here. It's basically right up here. Yep, there's invis invisible blocks. And you can basically retrieve... The moon is basically up there, and yeah, I'm having trouble getting up there because it's all slippery and everything. And I think I fall off here. Yep, I certainly do, because I suck at this game. <laughs> but yeah, you basically go up there and retrieve your your secret 8-bit moon, and yep, 8-bit moons is... Collecting 8-bit moons is one of Toadette's objectives in the Mushroom Kingdom, so yeah. There's gonna be a lot of moons to retrieve from Toadette when I'm done with my adventure here in the... In the... What do you call it? <laughs> in the whole game. So yeah, I am 100%ing the game, guys. I am going to 100% it. Um, I was originally going to 100% Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, but I didn't feel like I didn't really have time to do that, so... I have plenty of time to, uh, to 100% Odyssey right here. And yeah, we're in the, um, the racing arena part, and I found this, um, this Bonneton on top of the Shiveri, and he was hidden pretty, pretty well. So yeah. Um, so yeah, the Elder will offer you one more Power Moon in a extra challenging, um, uh, the Bound, um, Grand Prix race. And I was trying to talk to him right here, but mostly you can bounce on him right there, but, yeah. Uh, Shiverian Elder, that's what it's called. It's basically the other way around. So yeah, he said he'll give you one more moon if you win this last challenging race. And yeah, I'm just showing you my Joy-Cons, because there is a motion control where you can also bound with the Joy-Cons, instead of pressing A or B. So yeah, there it is. My best time was 1 minute and 8 seconds. I think when I beat it, I was at 1 minute and 4 seconds, but... Um, I did not beat it on my first try, because I was... It's been a while since I did one of these, so yeah. It, it really is a challenge for me. Yeah, shaking wasn't really, like, beneficial for me. So I just stuck to the buttons instead, so yeah. I, be, I think I retried around the second lap or so, because I was very, very far behind from the other Shiverians, so... Yeah, I think somewhere around here I will restart. Because I didn't, I didn't allow it. I was using the motion controls. Yeah, there we go. I restarted. And this was like my third or fourth attempt at it. I think this is the one that I got it on. This is, uh, this is the one minute and four seconds. This is the one where I got first place. So yeah, this one is a little more challenging than the, the Circuit A. I think this one is Circuit S or Grand Prix S. I don't know. But, yeah. And yeah, don't lose too much momentum on those uh, ramps. Those ramps can really screw you up there. See, you see, like the other competitors can catch up to you like that. So be sure not to hit those ramps or try to avoid those ramps as, as quickly as possible. So you won't lose too much momentum. You will lose all your momentum if you can't hit those. So yeah, yeah, my throat is already aching from all the commentary. I really hate doing this, and I really wish I would have known that my mic was working. I should really check if my equipment is working before I start a video as well. That's like the first thing you should do before starting a video, to check if your equipment is working. Guys, remember that. If you're ever going to use OBS or ever try to record a video, make sure like your webcam, your microphone, anything you're using is working properly. And yes, I checked checked like a few times and yeah i just won the race here so yeah i just beat the time one minute and four seconds and and he just gives me the moon here and that was pretty much the uh almost the last moon but there's still the moon rock and plenty of other moons to discover here but i think this is where i will end off the commentary here and this is where i end off the episode so i hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure you hit that like subscribe and hit the notification bell on the way else you won't miss another upload see you guys in the next video see ya and i'll have my equipment working by then